Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I am at the Coachman Caravan's launch of their 2024 models and in this vlog I'm going to be looking at the Acadia range. So let's fire in and have a look at what is new for 2024. Let's start here. Let me turn you around. So first of all, we've got the Coachman Acadia 545. So new for 2024 on this single axle caravan. You see, we've got the, still got the silver sides, but we do have new decals for this year. In this vlog, I'm going to walk us round all the caravans and the models in the Acadia range that are on display. So you can get a good idea of how they're looking. So we can see the rear end here. There may be layouts that you're interested in that you haven't considered or you see something new. I do quite like these new decals. You can see just up on here, they've got a, a new sort of ruby red tint to them, uh, complemented with some silver. So that is nice. Now this caravan, this is not an eight foot wide model. So if you're wanting a smaller single axle, this may be suitable. I don't have all the sizes today because it is literally a first look. Let's venture inside. So in we come. So in this model, we've got a nice front window and sunroof, as you can see there. The furnishings, we've got a grey curtain, grey sofas, and almost a, a blue and a grey furnishing. We've got the two small sofas does have Pioneer speaker and sound system, does the Acadia. Now the kitchen, this is nice. We've still got the flap here. We've got a nice little marbly effect top. We've got the beige coloured drawers and cupboards. Still got the Thetford oven and grill. We've got an under counter and we've got quite a nice little drawer pull out there, cutlery drawer. Your television's going to go on there, as you can see. Now we do have a really large centre shower and washroom. There's the shower cubicle. You walk through into the bedroom. So this is a rear island bed situated at the back of the caravan with two good size windows. This is a good size bedroom space. Now the bed is currently retracted, but we've got lots of good floor space here. We'll just have a little look at the finish on the bathroom. So we've got the Alder wet central heating. This is nice. Now I always like Coachman bathrooms. I'm never disappointed. So we're going to see what we're getting for 2024. So, oh, and there's a little mirror there as well. So that's nice. Right, that, is the 545. So that is an island bed layout. We've got that, those nice new decals and the kitchen there. So let's head on. Now next we're going to come to the Acadia 575. So again, we've got the same um, decals on the outside. We've got the silver. We're getting um, the gas barbecue, electric hookup, all the bits and pieces. Let's just venture straight in and have a look at the layout. So in we go. We've got the same lounge again with those big windows letting lots of light in. Uh, well equipped the coachman's. We'll turn around and again we've still got the identical kitchen microwave on the opposite side up there and in this one we've got a transverse island bed we can see it here and we've got a nice amount of floor space when the bed's retracted around here and that then leads into this rear washroom with a really good size opening door i don't know if the camera will do it justice but the entrance through here is really wide and a good size as i say the camera might not do it justice the bathroom, we've got the rear bathroom. Again, another good size shower cubicle. There we go. We've got that nice mirror, fruit bowl sink with the swivel tap, the Alder heating and the Thetford toilet. And just coming back, it just gives you an idea of the space inside this four berth single axle. Right, so there's another layout. Let's power on. Okay, now we're moving up um, on the Acadia range. Now this is the Acadia 630 Extra. Now this is an eight foot wide van, so let's take a look. So we've got a twin axle on this one. This is obviously a much longer, much larger and much heavier caravan. We'll just come down the side. We can see the vents there, so we know we're going to find a tower fridge freezer in this one. We've got the same rear end. Okay, let's go in and see what we're going to get in the 630. 
Now this is quite a nice layout. This is interesting. So here we go. Now, what we've got here is a really good size L-shaped lounge. The benefit of the eight foot wide is you get all this space. That is a huge lounge area. You've got a really good amount of floor space. And if I turn you around, we're finding here the dianette here. So absolutely massive again. I'd imagine this is going to be at least a six berth caravan. Um, the table, I don't know if you can see um, just under there, it is going to drop down. This is going to convert into a, a big, I'd imagine that's going to be a double bed. This is going to convert into a huge bed. And then at the back, we've got bunk beds. So if you're looking for a family layout, this certainly could be of interest. The kitchen's a really good size. We've got worktop space, a microwave, a nice kitchen. What I do notice is this um, worktop seems to be at um, quite a, a good height. It's, it's a nice high worktop is that. We've got the Thetford oven and grill. We do have here the Thetford, just see it there, the Thetford tower fridge and freezer. Now that's unusual. It's actually set at a higher height than normal. I don't know whether you can see that there. So let's just open that and see how that works. So yeah, your freezer compartment's quite high up, but at least you're not having to bend too far down. So I quite like how that's been placed. We've got two bunk beds and they are a good size. They're nice and long. And then in the back, here we go, we've got the bathroom. So at the rear washroom here, we've got shower again, good size. We've got the wash basin and the mirror. And then we've got the Thetford toilet and the heated towel rail there, part of the Alder system. So the 630, this is a nice family layout. I don't know prices for 2024 off the top of my head. The website will be updated. Hopefully at the time of this vlog going out, it will be up to date, but that is nice. Okay, let's venture on. So our next um, Arcadia that we're going to come to last but, last but not least is the 660 and that's here. So let's have a look at this now. Acadia 660 is the extra, so again it's eight feet wide, it is on the twin axle, it's got the same decals and the exterior, so we don't need to wander around again. Let's venture in. Now on this layout, this is again another good size large family layout. We've got this big L-shaped lounge again with the windows. We've got the dianette again. This is massive. It really is. This is so, this is very spacious. I'll certainly say that. The nice kitchen. Now, what I like about this is instead of the bunk beds, we've got a fixed bed at the back. So this, I can see this one being a popular model because people do like the fixed beds um, as a family layout. It gives you different parts to the caravan. We've got that big tower uh, fridge and freezer that's just there. And then we've got a nice wardrobe space here. I'll just show you this. So good size wardrobe there. That's got the Alder header tank in and then there's some drawers underneath. And then we'll just go into the washroom at the back. Here we are. So this is in the uh, back offside corner and we've got a good size shower because where the toilet is here, you just have to be mindful of stepping into that shower. The toilet will swivel further that way, but that's a little bit of a narrow space, but there's only so much you can do in a small space. We have got a frosted window, so that's nice. And I'll just come in here. So there we go. We've got the mirror, sink, some cupboard space and the alder again. And then if we head out, we can just see how big this, this model is from the back here. So there we go. I'll close this because leave it as you found it. That's what I always say. So there we go. That is the um, Coachman Arcadia range that's here for me to view today for 2024. Hopefully the website for Coachman will be updated soon. So you'll be able to find all the facts and figures, the lengths, the weights, all the rest of it that you're going to need to know and those all important prices. There we go. That's a first look, a very quick first look around. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. So as always, thanks for watching and... I'll see you in the next one.